Welcome to Ultrasound Review 4. Please smash that like button. Comment. Share, and subscribe. Let's start. All of the following components are necessary on an ultrasound system to make it ergonomically compatible except A. Fixed control panel B. Adjustable height monitor C. System easily mobile with brakes D. Thin transducer cables The answer is A. Fixed control panel All of the following statements contribute to professional controls to prevent injury except A. Minimize sustained bending, twisting, reaching, lifting, and transducer pressure. B. Vary scanning techniques and transducer grips. C. Maintain equipment height, regardless of the sonographer. D. Avoid forward and backward reaches. The answer is, C. Maintain equipment height, regardless of the sonographer. The sonographer should follow all of the following recommendations except, A. Use mild transducer pressure when imaging superficial structures. B. Grip the transducer tightly putting pressure on your thumb when imaging abdominal structures. C. Avoid the temptation to be image-driven, sacrificing your body for a pretty picture that does not affect the diagnosis. D. Keep the monitor on your eye level. The answer is, B. Grip the transducer tightly putting pressure on your thumb when imaging abdominal structures. Repeated flexion and extension of the wrist may result in, A. Bursitis. B. Decurvan disease. C. Rotator cuff injury. D. Carpal tunnel syndrome. The answer is, D. Carpal tunnel syndrome. The pancreas is located in which abdominal region? A. Right lumbar. B. Left iliac. C. Epigastric. D. Hypogastric. The answer is, C. Epigastric. The linea alba is found in the, A. Abdominal wall. B. External oblique muscle. C. Median arcuate ligament. D. Cross of the diaphragm. The answer is, A. Abdominal wall. The membrane that covers an internal organ is known as the, A. Mesothelium. B. Visceral peritoneum. C. Greater omentum. D. Parietal peritoneum. The answer is, B. Visceral peritoneum. The space between the right lobe of the liver and the anterior right kidney is, A. Pouch of Douglas. B. Morrison's pouch. C. Peritoneal recess. D. Rectuterine space. The answer is, B. Morrison's pouch. Vital signs, which are medical measurements to ascertain how the body is functioning, may include all of the following except, A. Blood pressure. B. Pulse. C. Pulmonary function tests. D. Temperature. The answer is, C. Pulmonary function tests. Morrison's pouch is anterior to which organ? A. Pancreas. B. Caudate lobe. C. Right kidney. D. Uterus. The answer is, C. Right kidney. An echo free structure is described as, A. Echogenic. B. Sonolucent. C. Heterogeneous. D. Homogeneous. The answer is, B. Sonolucent. Which of the following terms describes a simple cyst? A. Echogenic. B. Isoechoic. C. Anechoic. D. Homogeneous. The answer is, C. Anechoic. Increased brightness posterior to an anechoic structure is termed, A. Shadowing. B. Reverberation. C. Enhancement. D. Refraction. The answer is, C. Enhancement. Which of the following is the opposite of echogenic? A. Isoechoic. B. Hypoechoic. C. Hyperechoic. D. Sonolucent. The answer is, D. Sonolucent. Choose the term that describes a structure with a uniform texture or composition. A. Homogeneous. B. Heterogeneous. C. 
isoechoic, d, echogenic, the answer is, a, homogeneous. Another term for sonolucent is, a, anechoic, b, isoechoic, c, hypoechoic, d, homogeneous, the answer is, a, anechoic. The basic principles of body mechanics require all of the following except a. Maintain a stable center of gravity by keeping your center of gravity low and your back straight and bending your hips and knees. b. Maintain a strong base of support by keeping your feet apart, placing one foot slightly ahead of the other with the toes pointing in the direction of activity. c. When lifting, flex your hips to absorb jolts, and turn with your feet instead of your knees. d. Maintain a center of gravity by keeping your back straight and any objects being lifted close to your body. The answer is, D. Maintain a center of gravity by keeping your back straight and any objects being lifted close to your body. According to the National Institutes of Health, hypertension is defined as a blood pressure greater than, in MHG, A, 120-80, B, 135-75, C, 140-90, D, 150-100s. The answer is, A, 120-80. Infectious materials include all of the following except, A, blood, B, intact skin, C, synovial fluid, D, cerebrospinal fluid. The answer is, B, intact skin. The device that converts energy from one form to another is called a, A, digitizer. B. Transducer. C. Scan converter. D. Beamformer. The answer is, B. Transducer. The angle of reflection is equal to the, A. Acoustic impedance. B. Angle of incidence. C. Refraction. D. Image resolution. The answer is, B. Angle of incidence. The higher the transducer frequency, the, a, shorter the wavelength, b, faster the frame rate, c, deeper the penetration depth, d, slower the frame rate. The answer is, a, shorter the wavelength. Vital signs include all of the following except, a, blood pressure, b, pulse rate, c, hematuria, d, respiratory rate. The answer is, c, Hematuria. Both the sagittal and coronal planes divide the body lengthwise. How does the coronal plane divide the body? A. Top to bottom. B. Front to back. C. Side to side. D. Right to left. The answer is B. Front to back. Which one of the following patient positions is best for imaging the aorta? A. Prone. B. Right lateral decubitus. C. Semi erect. D. Supine. The answer is D. Supine. Note if supine is not in the answer or the patient is obese, the answer is should be B. Right lateral decubitus. What is M mode? A. Motive mode. B. Motion mode. C. Brightness mode. B. Action mode. The answer is B. Motion mode. Which of the following allows the sonographer to amplify the receiver gain at the specific depths? A. Intensity. B. Doppler. C. Overall gain. D. TGC. The answer is, D. TGC. What is B mode? Select 1. A. Brightness modulation. B. Motion mode. C. Blighted ovum. D. None of the above. The answer is, A. Brightness modulation. Transducer is a device that converts energy from one form to another. True or false? The answer is, true. The reduction in the intensity and amplitude of the sound wave as it travels through a medium is called, A. Attenuation. B. Power. C. Watts. D. Intensity. The answer is, A. Attenuation. 
Which of the following is true about wavelength? A. Wavelength and frequency are directly related. B. Wavelength is twice the frequency. C. Wavelength and frequency are inversely related. D. None of the above. The answer is, C. Wavelength and frequency are inversely related. Which of the following describes the number of oscillations per second performed by particles in a medium? A. Intensity. B. Power. C. Frequency. D. Wavelength. The answer is, C. Frequency. What is the velocity of sound in air? Select 1, A. 330 decimeter per second. B. 330 centimeter per second. Circa 330 kilometer per second. D. 330 meter per second. The answer is, D. 330 meter per second. What is the velocity of sound in soft tissue? A. 1540 meter per second. Born 1540 kilometer per second. C. 1540 centimeter per second. D. 1540 hertz. The answer is, A. 1540 meter per second. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. True or false? The answer is, true. What is the name of the ceramic element that vibrates in response to electricity within the transducer? A. Piezo-mechanical element. B. Piezo-electric element. C. Queso-electric element. D. None of the above. The answer is, B. Piezo-electric element. Ultrasound refers to sound frequencies. A. More than 20 kHz. B. Less 20 Hz. C. More than 2 Hz. D. More than 20 Hz. The answer is, A. More than 20 kHz. The branch of physics that deals with sound and sound waves is called. A. Hertz. B. Megahertz. C. Acoustics. D. None of the above. The answer is, C. Acoustics. The human hearing range is between 20 kHz to 20,000 kHz. True or false? The answer is false. The range is 20 Hz to 20,000 kHz. Sound is a form of what energy? A. Electrical energy. B. Mechanical energy. C. Kinetic energy. D. None of the above. The answer is, B. Mechanical energy. Pause the video, understand, and memorize the planes. Pause the video, understand, and memorize the cavities. What is the first arterial branch of the abdominal aorta? The answer is, celiac artery. What is the second branch of the abdominal aorta? The answer is, SMA. Label these structures. One. Portal splenic confluence. 2. Superior mesenteric artery, SMA. 3. Left renal vein. 4. Aorta. 5. Inferior vena cava, IVC. Identify these structures. One. Posterior branch. 2. Anterior branch. 3. Right portal vein. 4. IVC. What are the names of the positions? Position 1 is supine. Position 2 is prone. Label these positions. One. Right lateral decubitus. Two. Left lateral decubitus. Three. Right posterior oblique. Four. 
Left posterior oblique. 5. Sitting semi-erect. 6. Sitting erect. Transverse and supine. What is the orientation of the ultrasound image? At supine position and transverse scan, the orientation is right, left, anterior, and posterior as in these images. The probe indicator is pointed to the right of the patient. Transverse scan at prone position. What is the orientation of the ultrasound image? At prone position and transverse scan, the orientation is left, right, posterior and anterior as in these images. Pause the video and label the structures. One, diaphragm. Two, inferior vena cava. Three, right lobe. Four, fundus of gallbladder. Five, round ligament. Six, falciform ligament. Seven, left lobe. Study the supine position. Sagittal scan. This is a longitudinal or sagittal scan. The orientation is right to left. Top to bottom is superior inferior, posterior, and anterior. Study and memorize these nine regions of the abdomen. Study and memorize these four quadrants of the abdomen. Remember to learn how to spell words, and many more. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment.